hello my dear people today i have an interesting video for you i'll be showing you how i clean my crayfish to remove all the crayfish hair this is a crayfish i bought at the market and i'll show you what it looks like growing up i used to like crayfish i used to dislike crayfish you know it was a thug of war but hairy crayfish is something i don't like but if you watch many of my recipes one thing you will notice is i like using crayfish powder for my soups a lot as much as i liked crayfish i used to avoid it at a point before i discovered this method this method has been a lifesaver this is because eating hairy crayfish gives me itchy throat if you know someone with itchy throat then this sound will be familiar to you wait for it yes that's the sound <laughs> now so this is the crayfish and take a look at all the hair now you're looking at the crayfish up close look at all the crayfish hair honestly i don't know why crayfish comes with so much hair but when i started doing this it made eating it easier made it delicious and crispy so i put my pot on fire and um, i'm just going to test to see if it's hot enough and obviously it is hot enough so i'm going to be pouring my crayfish into the hot pot at this point now this is where the work begins so i'm going to be dry frying or roasting the crayfish for about 15 to 20 minutes right now you will notice that the crayfish is shiny yes it is also crispy and crunchy and my kitchen is so fragrant right now i'm done with frying so let's go to the next step this is my basket and be sure to put a plate underneath the basket to reduce the mess so i poured my crayfish into the basket and i'm going to be sieving out the crayfish hair to separate the crayfish hair from the crayfish simply by shaking the basket you know when i'm done with all of this you will see what i have been able to separate from the crayfish but here here is the thing if you like quantity then maybe this method is not for you because it will greatly reduce the quantity of your crayfish now take a look at all the crayfish hair i removed from my crayfish wow this is a lot and this right here is what i don't like but what i'm about to show you is what i like come on i can use this to cook almost anything jollof rice fried rice concussion rice my soups i can even chew it and just snack on it <laughs> thank you for watching